The bold and the beautiful spoilers revealed that Taylor was always looking for an opportunity to get back with Ridge, but it didn't seem like the two of them were right for each other. The good news for Taylor as well as fans is that perhaps Taylor will start meeting with a new object. Of course, before that, a lot of people hoped that Taylor and Ridge would get back together, but over time we realized that Ridge still has a lot of feelings for Brooke. He will soon reconcile with Brooke and return to her side. It's time for Taylor to let go of her feelings because Ridge isn't the man for her. Taylor is best relieved when she has more opportunities to get to know other men. They can help Taylor overcome the guilt when she was alone with Ridge. Deacon is perhaps the first candidate for the position of Taylor's man. After all, the two of them were abandoned people, so it was easier to share feelings with each other. Taylor wants to go back to Ridge, but Bridge is looking back to Brooke. He's going to make Deacon stay away from Brooke. Of course, the person who longed for Ridge to return like Brooke would be able to accommodate Ridge's request, despite objections from Hope and Deacon. Deacon only hoped he could stay behind Brooke to support her when she was in trouble, but was stopped by Ridge. Taylor and Deacon are both single and traumatized. There's no reason why they can't be together. But perhaps this decision will greatly affect the daughter of Taylor and Deacon. As fans know, the relationship between Steffi and Hope has never been good. They're fighting for a man together, so it is difficult for both of them to accept the fact that their parents will become an official couple. Hope or Steffi are both opposed to their parents coming together, so it is certain that confrontation will soon happen in the next episodes. Looks like the troubles won't stop there, because apart from Hope and Steffi, neither Rich nor Brooke were pleased to learn that Taylor and Deacon were going to be together. They couldn't help but feel jealous, especially Brooke. She's so used to Deacon's crush on her that Brooke will surely get angry when Deacon likes another woman that's Brooke's love rival. So Brooke and Taylor continue to fight each other, but this time over Deacon. Ridge will also disagree with Taylor being with Deacon because he thinks Deacon is not the right match for Taylor. But what Brooke is doing to Deacon is absurd. Deacon loves Brooke very much, but he finds himself never having a chance to be with Brooke. Brooke only values Ridge and is always looking for ways to bring Ridge back. So Deacon won't find his place in Brooke's heart. He has no reason to continue this unrequited love. So if he starts a relationship with anyone, Brooke should not interfere. Deacon is annoyed to see Brooke and Ridge reunited. Moreover, Brooke did something quite cruel to him just to bring Ridge back. Now, Deacon really has nothing to lose because Brooke forbids him from going near her house. That means Deacon can't comfortably see his daughter anytime and anywhere. Brooke wasn't able to help Deacon, so once Taylor held out his hand, he could easily empathize with her. Taylor and Deacon are two people who share the same feelings. Taylor lost Ridge and Deacon lost Brooke. They suffer the same trauma, so it will be easy to empathize with each other in this case. Taylor and Deacon will comfort each other, and this will bring them closer together. Of course, then they must also be prepared to face the upcoming difficulties.